Builders Mutual Insurance Company presents Toolbox Safety Talks. In this talk, we'll focus on extension cord safety. Nothing about an extension cord suggests danger. There are no moving parts, no flames, no noise. It is harmless looking, yet it can be extremely dangerous if misused. Good extension cords should be used all the time. Heavy-duty rated cords that are approved and tested by underwriters' laboratories. Cords that show wear should be repaired or thrown out. There are some hazards in using extension cords that only you can control. First of all, no extension cord can stand rough usage. If you kink it, knot it, or crush it, and even bend it, you can break the insulation, which may cause a short circuit and a fire, or even an electric shock. Most cords carry regular 110 volt electricity. Now, no doubt at some time you have received a shock from a 110 volt line without serious harm, just a great tingling sensation. But even a 10 volt current can kill. It is not harmless. The conditions, however, must be right. The right conditions may consist of making a good connection with a live wire carrying 110 voltage with wet or sweaty hands and standing or lying on the ground, a wet floor, a water pipe, or other electrical connection. So, protect the extension cords you use. Coil them in large loops, not in close kinked coils. Don't bend them unnecessarily and don't repair them yourself. In special situations, special types of cords are needed. Some cords are water resistant, others are not. Some are insulated for heat resistance. Others are designed to stand the action of solvents and other chemicals that may be present. These rules should be applied for the safe use of extension cords. Inspect all extension cords at the beginning of each workday for any signs of wear or damage. Remove any worn or damaged cords from service immediately. Before each use, check the cord for the presence of a ground blade on the male end of the cord. Handle the cord gently, avoiding strain, kinking, crushing, or cutting. String it where it will not be hit or tramped on. If moisture, heat, or chemicals are present, be sure your cord is the proper type to resist the conditions that are present. Extension cords should not be used as ropes to raise and lower tools and materials. Thank you for watching. Visit buildersmutual.com/rm for easy access to toolbox talks and sample safety programs.